Being a grandparent is easy. You've already dealt with your own children, so now you can sit back and laugh as you watch your offspring drown in dirty diapers and unwanted broccoli. But some grandparents want more than just an easy ride, a game of golf, and a gin before dinner. They want to keep living life to the fullest. So put away the sherry and fold up the bridge game, because these grandparents are still in the game. And whether you're a grandparent, parent, child, or just a cat who found their owner's phone, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Do it for the whole family. Yasmina Rossi. For most people in the industry, your modeling career would be long over by the time you were 45. But Yasmina Rossi decided now was a good time to get started, and she ended up on the cover of magazines and representing major international brands. She's 60 years old with two grandchildren, but you would never know it to look at her. And although you might think she'd done a deal with the devil or bathed in the blood of virgins, she says it's a simple matter of eating only high-quality foods and doing yoga every day. See? Easy. Bon Pond 511 Known only by their Instagram name, this Japanese couple has been married for 37 years and have a unique way of staying connected after all this time. They always wear complimentary outfits. They have over 75,000 followers and they wear a mixture of brands like Uniqlo and Comme des Garçons, as well as cool things they find in thrift shops. It's not clear how much planning goes into each outfit, but given that most of us can barely manage matching socks as we stumble out the door, their commitment to coordination is as impressive as it is cute. Gunther Krabenhoff. But while Bon Pond 511 are cool through collaboration, German Gunther Krabenhoff flies the fashion flag all on his own. Known as the hipster Opa, meaning, as you probably guessed, hipster granddad, he's spent most of his life as a cook and has lived in Berlin since the 70s. He's always been a sharp dresser, but rose to fame when he was seen regularly at the techno scene at legendary clubs such as Berghain and Sisyphus. He's easy to spot with his famous hat, vest, and bow tie combinations. Graffiti Grandmas Lata 65 is a project in a Portuguese town that turns Banksy to Grampsy by helping those 65 and over try their hand at graffiti. They provide gloves, overalls, and spray cans, as well as legal spaces to practice their art because no one needs an army of grandmas and balaclavas running from the law. They create murals by hand or with stencils and can even make their own tags. Shirley Curry. When this 80-year-old Virginian native said she spent the day battling dragons, it's not because she's been on the gym since breakfast. She's the internet's favorite gaming grandma with a real soft spot for the open world joys of Skyrim. She has almost a quarter of a million subscribers on YouTube, as well as having a Twitch account, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook. It's not all dragon slaying though. She also posts pictures of quilts because she's cooler than you and she can do what she wants. Tame Watanabe. Digital adventures would not be enough for Tame Watanabe, who holds the record as the oldest woman to climb Mount Everest and one of the oldest people overall. She broke her own record since she had done it before at 63, but 10 years later, she decided she was ready again. And Everest is no walk in the park. Only 4,000 people have been to the top and over 200 have died trying. She's also conquered many others, including five of the 14 mountains over 8,000 meters high. Wong Dishwin. Wang Dishwin's climb was up a catwalk rather than a mountain, but this Chinese grandfather rocked the fashion world with his debut appearance on the podium during Chinese Fashion Week, having the charisma to match his toned and muscular physique. He's an actor and artist and says that his three hours of working out per day is only part of it. You need to have the right state of mind. Having a wizard beard probably helps too. It's a look we're calling Grey Steel. Dean Parker Sometimes you see something on the news and you're moved to help. Whether it's donating some money, joining a protest, or setting up your own vigilante posse. Dean Parker watched with sadness a report about the Kurds in Iraq struggling to fight off ISIS. But rather than sending cash or an angry letter, he sent himself. He picked up armor and boots from an army supply store, as well as an e-reader with a copy of Sun Tzu's The Art of War. The 49-year-old surfing grandfather was back home in Florida after 10 weeks, advising others not to follow his path since it was clear that donating the money he spent to get there would have provided better help. Jalal Mansour Nuridin. When you ask most people about the earliest rappers, they might point to the Sugar Hill Gang or Chuck D, but those really in the know will tip their hat to Jalal Mansour Nuridin, the grandfather of rap. In 1973, Nuridin was a black activist who practiced acupuncture and martial arts. He released an album of rhythmic spoken word called Hustler's Convention 
using the name Lightning Rod. It's been sampled by hip hop's biggest stars, such as Nas, Wu Tang, and the Beastie Boys. Now in his 70s, Nuridin has turned away from the genre of music that never gave him the credit or payback he deserved. Not that he asked for it. I don't entertain bitterness, man, is his reply to it all. Conchita Carpio Morales. But maybe the baddest of all grandparents is Conchita Carpio Morales, who refused to even build a higher fence, let alone move, when a grenade with her initials on it was found on her property. She worked her way up through the legal system in the Philippines to the Supreme Court, where she leads the fight against corruption. She shrugs off regular debt threats, laughing at the people who are trying to scare her. Despite being 75, she works 12 hours a day, six days a week, just taking Sundays off to hang out with her grandkids, where candies for good behavior is the only type of bribery she'll allow. As we keep living longer and longer, our definition of what is old will soon change. So make sure you subscribe because in 2098, we're planning a great video on 10 great great grandparents you won't believe exist. And you wouldn't want to miss that, would you? See you again next time.